Hi, I'm Stuart and welcome to Sarnet Television. We're going to take a look at something being taken apart over in Studio 2 with Chris this morning, Monday, and it is the V23 or TPB. You say that after you haven't had your cornflakes. Take it away, Chris. Well, thank you, Stuart. I have here Whelan's V23 LED surface mount light head assembly. The V-Series light is a triple purpose product in that it offers warning as well as spotlight and a puddle light. I'll show you those in a minute here, but what I want to show you first is what makes the V-Series such a nice, useful unit for exterior mounts on vehicles. The unit itself has a flange, can be ordered in black or chrome, depending on how you want your cosmetics to be for your vehicle. has a nice heavy duty rubber backing to keep the back of the unit nice and protected. Also keeps condensation, grit and grime from getting into the back of the light head and lets it affix nice and smoothly onto your surface. Series of trigger wires here, which I'll show you in a moment. But what I'd like to show you is that the V-Series is a removable lens-based product. With that, should you ever have condensation build up inside the V-Series, which occurs from climate changes, warm to cold, cold to warm, what have you, and air inside of the housing. So the V-Series itself has a removable gasket lens. If you go ahead, slide a fingernail under the edges, you can go ahead and start to free it. The lens itself, like I mentioned, has a nice heavy duty rubber backing gasket to keep it sealed into the V23 housing. But what's important to note on this polycarbonate front housing here is that it contains optics. On the back of the unit here, if we zoom in, you can see that you have a total of three little dish points built into the optic. You have three on the top, three on the bottom. And what those do is act as an intensity booster for the diodes that are mounted inside the V23, again in a row of three on the top, a row of three again on the bottom, what those do is they take the diodes and help to direct and focus their intensity so you have a more focused takedown or spot or alley light function, whichever you want to call it for your application. The unit itself is constructed roughly one time from the folks at Wheelan Engineering. And when I say one time, I mean that they put the unit together in-house as a one piece with the exception of the lens here, and the rest of the unit inside is completely sealed. So you'll notice that you have screws in here and a wiring harness that enters the back of the housing. But when those are put together on the assembly line, everything is completely epoxied in, covered, soldered, and sealed in turn. So with that, you don't have the ability to remove any of the componentry here from the cast housing. Also inside the V-Series, in addition to the three diodes on the top portion and the bottom portion, acting again as a takedown or an alley spotlight, whichever you want to call it, you have two sections that are your warning diodes. There's three diodes in each section here. Again, if we can have the camera zoom in, nice and small but highly, highly potent little diodes, especially with this little patented diffuser that Whelan puts over them. And that helps to spread the light from the three diodes to give a nice fill in the 180 degree output that the V-Series offers. So these two little sections give you 180 degrees. So the diodes flash out this way, out this way, and the reflector assemblies here take that, spread the light all across the unit to give you a full 180 degree spread all the way across. Very, very nice for emergency vehicles, both big and small. The third function of the V23, making it the triple purpose light head, is the puddle light. It's done with a total of four diodes affixed into a V shape on the bottom. These units here, when the unit is surface mounted, will cast light in a downward manner to illuminate the ground to the side, the rear, or the front of the vehicle, again, depending on where you have the light head positioned. On the back of the V-Series, you'll notice a yellow sticker. It's really not a sticker. It's what's referred to as a Gore-Tex breather. 
This here is covering a hole that's drilled into the housing of the V23, and in turn, it acts as a pass-through for air. So when you have the unit with the lens resealed on nice and tightly, the condensation that'll build up inside of here will escape through the rear breather. So this will happen when it goes from cold to warm, or when you take the rig out, turn on the lights, the unit will get warm inside, and the condensation will clear itself out again through the Gore-Tex breather on the back. The Gore-Tex breather is really a one-way unit. So it lets air flow out, but not to flow back in. So it helps keep condensation out, so no worries there. It's not gonna fill up with water, in case you were curious. So now that I've given you a bit of inside look, three components of the V23 here, go ahead, slide the gasket back on, put the flange on the front, go ahead, put the wires to power so you can see how the functions work. And when you mount this on your application, you'll have two screws or two bolts, the one going through each mounting hole here, which will then suck the unit onto the surface, making it nice and tight affixed with the flange and the lens here with its gasket onto the backing. So I'll go ahead, connect the black wire here to ground. I'll take the red trigger wire here, tie it to a positive 12 volt power source. And you can see by the red trigger wire being applied to power, the unit now activates in its red flashing warning mode. The warning has adjustable patterns, which are controlled through wheel and scan lock wire, the white with a violet trace. So every time you take this, momentarily tap it to a 12 volt source, it'll advance one flash pattern per touch. The unit offers a variety of patterns and also phasing. So if you'd like to have your light heads flashing together or alternating back and forth in a locked manner, the V-Series offers that function. To activate the other functions, go ahead, disconnect power there. I'll take the white with the black trace, apply that to power, and that activates the unit's takedown or alley. If it's front facing on your rig, we'll call it a takedown. If it's side facing, we'll call it an alley. See nice and bright, go ahead and blind the camera out here. To deactivate, remove power. And then to activate the bottom puddle light function here, which is the white with orange trace, apply it to power, and there you have it. So you can see you have the diodes in the bottom of the unit illuminating, casting light in a downward manner. Nice function with the V-Series light is that you can run the features independently or together if you'd like to. So for example, I have the puddle light on. I'll go ahead, take my trigger wire to activate the red warning. I can have those functions on together so I can have illumination to the ground and safety lights flashing as well. Can leave the puddle light on, activate the other illumination light, or if I'd like, disengage the puddle light, turn it on into a safety mode, and then I can turn on my spot or alley function to get some illumination for scene safety or traffic stops. And there you have it. Bit of a detailed look into the fit, finish, and function of the V23 LED light head assembly from Whelan Engineering. Thanks for spending some time with me here on SirenNet Television. I'm Chris. Back to you, Stuart. Well, there you have it. A quick look at the Z23 or TPB. You've been watching Silent Television, and many thanks for watching.